Okay, so today we're going to go over the requirements of your greeting card. Now, uh, the must-haves of your greeting card, and this will be posted on your uh, STEM page as well. The first must-have is that it must have a sensing question and respond based on the user response. Don't make that face. Let me explain that to you. Today we're going to learn how to make a sensing question where the user responds to your question and what happens next is based off of that user's response. Okay. Secondly, it must have a sprite that you created or that you upload. If you upload the sprite, it must be edited so that the background is removed. We learned how to do that last time. It must be interactive, meaning that the user should be able to make things happen in the card itself. So it's not like uh, I'm going to do something and or I'm just going to watch the card play out or let something happen. You, The user is going to be controlling the card. It must be different than the one that I created in the examples. So everything, a lot of the things that we've done so far, a lot of people have just copied exactly what I do and makes it easy. Uh, starting, so it has to be different in some way than the example that I create. Not just a different picture either. It must have some sound. It must have motion. It must be the theme of our holiday, which is Valentine's Day. Um, you must have created a block of your own. I'm not going to make you do that. So I'll take that out of there. And you must give directions for how to interact with the card. Okay. So this project is going to be worth 100 points. And a lot of it is going to be stuff that you do on your own. However, we are going to um, get into the uh, sensing question and learn how to do that now. So if I go back to my Valentine's Day card, remember we had this Cupid set up. And he's adorable. And everybody likes him. Um, So we're going to get into sensing now. And in order to do that, I'm going to go to the stage. And I want to create a question, and I want it to start whenever they click the green flag. So I'm going to drag that block out. I'll go down to the sensing, and it says ask something and wait. So I'm going to click on that. Let me drag that out. And now I'm going to ask it a question. And it doesn't have to be a question from the get-go. says, hey, Valentine, what's your favorite color? You don't necessarily have to think of something here, but either what happens later in the card has to change, or you have to, I don't know, I don't know, just do what it is. Okay. So you can either change it here. You could say, hey, do you have a Valentine? And then if they say yes, you'd be like, oh, that's great. Or the response could change to your lame. Or just, it doesn't have to be lame either. I went a long time without a, without a Valentine. But you can change it to whatever you want. Okay. You can either be funny, you can be serious. So if something, then something else. I'm going to go back to sensing. 
should all have answer. And I'm going to drop that in. Not yet. But I forgot about my operator. Go down to your operator and grab this. So where it's the equal sign and say if. And now you go answer equals. And I can make my answer. I'll start with red. Then uh, I need to create some new backdrops. So now I have to start creating some backdrops. Do backdrop one. Leave that as white. And then I'll add a new backdrop here. With paint. And guess what color I'm going to make the backdrop. Very good, everyone. I grab the square. I drag out a red background. It's beautiful. It's red. And now it fills the whole space. Now I have to anticipate that there are going to be uh, multiple backdrops. Simply because, well, there's multiple back, there's multiple colors. So I make a new backdrop. And I can do a green one. And just go through the same process. You're just going to keep doing that. Now, whenever I have my backdrops, I'm going to yeah, also have to rename it. So rename your backdrop red, and then green. Let's just keep going. I'm going to go with yellow. talking just creating oops what other colors do I need black wow way to pay attention purple And then the last one, I'm going to do pink. All right, boom. Done. I have them all created. Go back into the code, and now we can start changing our backgrounds. So which switch background to pink. If it's pink, red, if it's red, 
all of that good stuff. If you'll notice, I make the process easier by duplicating multiple blocks. So now I can just switch them. Okay, so now as soon as uh, somebody was to type in, uh, if I start the program, as soon as it starts, it says, hey, Valentine, what's your favorite color? Now, oh, whatever I type in, it should respond accordingly and change to that color. So that was our goal. We now have a sensing question in there. I could have made this like, hey, do you have a valentine? No. That, and then if the answer equals no, then I could change it and make my backdrop something. I don't even have to switch the backdrop. I could have made it so then a banner comes up and it's like, I don't even know. Live your best life. Or, yeah, maybe next year. I could have just made him say something. Like under looks, I could have just made Cupid say something like good luck or something, good luck next year, or who knows. Whatever you want to do. That's the whole point of it. It's your card. It's going to be whatever you want for this project. All right. Well, that's all we are doing for today. So once you get your sensing question in, it's a good start.